The psyche of success is about defining who you are and who you want to be. Chapter 2, John's Reality. Now I want you to think about this. In the book, The Six Demons of Fear, John, the main character in the book, has a little bit of a different twist in his life. He's able to see things that the physical eye couldn't normally see. You hear people talk about seeing auras or the colors around people that are their energy fields. In this story, what John is able to see is the demons and the angels that exist all over the place that are not normally visible to a person. As you go through this chapter, you start to see that even at an early age, the age of seven for John, he wondered what in the heck was wrong with him. After a few years of seeing things and wondering, is that real? Do other people see this? He started to accept the fact that there are things in this universe or in our world that are not normal for everyone to see, but a few people have that gift. What's interesting is that as he became an adult, he started to identify which of those demons was messing with our heads. So imagine, for example, he sees a guy sitting on a park bench, this little demon right over here, like throwing little lightning bolts into the guy's head, throwing negative thoughts into his mind. Most of us have had the experience of going, God, where'd that bad thought come from? That's kind of the premise of the story and what chapter two unlocks for you. I know as an entrepreneur, all of us have something that we refer to that is that time that grips us and starts to tear us away from the purpose that we were given. Some people call it the black dog that goes and attacks them and pulls them down. Some people call it their demons. Some people call it darkness. You can call it whatever you want, but we all face those times where those negative thoughts come into our mind and we didn't even see them coming. So as you start learning about John's reality, you start learning about how he is seeing this happen in other people's minds and what each of those demons might possibly mean. He also finds himself a mentor, somebody who has been there and done that and can help him make it through his life on his journey to success. So make sure that you take the time to read chapter two carefully and pay attention, but think back as you're paying attention when was a time that some thought popped into my head that I thought, whoa, where did that thing come from? That's what John was dealing with. I'm Jody Holland with the Psyche of Success video blog. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you share it with your friends. Find me on Facebook. Look for Jody Holland Training and Speaking. Make sure you follow me on Twitter as well, Jody N. Holland. Can't wait to see you on next week's episode.